What's up guys? Some of you may not even remember this car behind me right now, but this is the Infinity i30 that I kept talking about we were going to do videos on that we haven't gotten around to. Well, I'm glad to say that we finally have gotten around to moving it. This is where it used to sit, right over here in the woods. And now it's been moved over closer to the driveway, so it's ready to be worked on and work on we have actually done. As you can see the difference in paint here, we did replace the front fenders, some of the front lighting and the front bumper. We still have to replace the hood. The hood is caved in from where a tree actually fell on it. Uh, you may remember that from a previous video, but I did talk about that once already. Um, we did also put a seat in it because the seat that was in it was broken. This one does not match the interior, but is in perfect shape. So we'll deal with that later. But the most important thing is we got it running again. As you can see, we got a flat, but that's okay. That I'll deal with that too. Um, but it does run again. It does move again. So let's go ahead and I'll show you. We'll crank it up. It's got an exhaust leak, so it's kind of loud, but it actually runs pretty good. And the car has been sitting for about, I would say this time around, about a year and a half but prior to that, it sat for about three years. So it does start right up. It runs pretty good. Um, there's a nasty exhaust leak. The flex pipe under the motor is actually broken. Uh, so that's gotta be fixed too but at least it is running now and it is running better than it did before. As I said, this car has been sitting for a year and a half. So it actually has really old year and a half old gas in it. So it will run better when we get some more gas in it, which is something that we plan on doing um, the very next time we work on it. We have to find this corner marker that's the, and a hood and that's the missing exterior pieces that we're going to need. Uh, other than that, we're going to be doing some brakes on this. We're going to be tackling a fuel leak under the driver's door. And there's some other running things. But uh, just so you know, the reason why I did not want to idle before and what it took to get it running this well was literally just one little um, vacuum line off the backside of the intake that was broken. We replaced that and now it runs and idles really good. I'm really good considering it's got year and a half old gas in it. So uh, yeah, it's doing pretty good. So yeah, I know this isn't Grand Prix content, but this is another car that I do have here working on. So if you guys want to see videos on this platform, the Infiniti i30, which is identical basically to the Nissan Maxima, if you want to see that, Definitely drop me a like on this video and let me know down in the comments that you want to see this stuff and I'll try to make videos on as much of it as possible. We will be going over this entire car, fixing a lot of things and getting it back on the road. So if you want to see that, let me know. Um, that was pretty much all I've got this time. Just giving you a little bit of an update on where we're at and what I've been doing. Um, other than that, the next car that you will see on the channel is the 07 Grand Prix. It has got a big upgrade coming up pretty soon. And then we'll be hopefully doing some more stuff on the 99. So drop me a like, drop me a comment. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and peace.